Happy Vlogmas Day number eight. Or are we on nine? I think we're on eight. Because I owe you guys this video. This was supposed to be for yesterday, so nine will be later today, right? Yes. Okay. Happy Vlogmas Day. Happy holidays. How are you guys doing this beautiful Thursday? I am blessed and highly favored. I cannot complain whatsoever. I just want to sit here today and um the question I want to ask today is cuz this is not the traditional I take you to the mall, let you see me shop vlogmas. Now I I'm not going to say I won't go to the store before between now and Christmas, but I just know like right now I'm not out and about. But my question for you today is men and women if you could go back at any time in your life from an infant toddler uh a small kid preteen teen young adult mid 30s 40s 50s whatever however right if you could go back to if you could go back at what stage in your life would you want to go back? And when you go back, would you change something? Like, would you... Okay, so I guess that's more than one question. Because you could be 40 and say, no. Like, my life has been grand. So, at each stage in my life, I lived it to the fullest, right? But then you have some people who say you're 40 and you're like, you know what? I didn't really live in my 20s. I was so busy with school and, and you know, worried about what people thought of me or worried about what my parents would say. I didn't enjoy my 20s, right? And then, you know, of course, once you're out of your 20s, there's no going back. So for me, I would say... um. I would want to, if I if I could go back, I would go back to my 20s from 20 to 30. Because from 20 to 30, I worked very hard. Um, I, you know, I was the average early 20s. You know, I went out and partied and whatever. But I, I worked very hard. And... I think um, maybe I would enjoy life just a little, little bit more because I, I, I worked extremely hard. Sometimes I worked two jobs and I don't know, I want to say by the time I was almost out of my 20s because I got pregnant with my oldest son at 28. So by the time I was almost out of my 20s is when, you know, um, I guess life dealt me <laughs> uh, the curveball, which was the pregnancy, right? But up until that point, I want to say from at least 20 to 25, I worked my butt off and could I have uh, relaxed a little more? Yes. Could I have taken it easy? Yes. Could I have enjoyed life a little more? Yes. Yes, I really could have. And at, at 49, I think, huh, I don't... I don't know, guys. Now I'm puzzled because, yeah, from 20 to, yeah... I really didn't like, I didn't really, I don't know, I guess live outside the box or, I don't know. I just know that if I had to go back to a point in my life 
it would be my from from 20 to 28 because that's 28 I got pregnant so from 20 to 28 it would be between those years there and I think I would just live I think I would I would just I'm not gonna say party I mean, I would just tell, I think I would go back and tell that Sean, right? Girl, live. Like, stop worrying about bills. Stop worrying about what people say and live your life. That's what I would do. I would go back to the girl, to the young lady in at, from 20 to 20, 20 to 28, and I would tell her to enjoy every moment of your life. That's what I would do. Because I was worried about bills. I want to make sure I can pay rent because, you know, I had my own apartment. And I would tell that girl, you got it. You got this, sis. I would tell her, you know what? <laughs> By the time you get to 49, you're going to realize all of this time that you're spending worried about uh, nothing you're going to be at 49 saying, man, in my 20s, I could have done. Yes, I enjoyed my 20s. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed my 20s. But I feel like I could have done more in my 20s than I, you know, than I did. Like, uh, again, I was just so preoccupied with I was working and working and working and working. Sometimes working two jobs and working and working, and, you know, because I'm not lazy you know we me and my sister was raised you get you know have a get a job and you know take care of yourself because yes you can get a man and he can take care of you but guess what what if he don't come home right now you got to fend for yourself what if he get mad and don't provide you now you you know so if you if you we were raised if you get up and go get it for yourself it's yours right you're tied for a reason. And I guess it's crazy, guys, but like, like when I lay down exhausted, I know I've put in a full day's work, like working my full-time job and then coming, doing the, the videos for my YouTube. When I lay down, sometime 2 o'clock, 2.30, I'm exhausted, but, but, it, but in my soul, I feel like, you know what, girl, you have put in a full day's work. And I have no regrets about it, right? That's because growing up, I was taught, go get it for yourself. Because just how a man can give it to you, they can take it, you know. And anything you earned, you earned on your own, can't nobody take it, you know. If you have your own place, can't nobody put you out. Like, I mean, like, if you're at somebody's house and they say, get out, yeah. Oh, okay, well, I'll go. Yeah, i go to my place, you know. Or if it's your car, they can't put you out. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I'm, if it's yours, they cannot take it. So, with that being said, my question was, if you could go back to any stage in life, right, and talk to that you, at what age would you go back to, you know? And, like, what would you what would you tell yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would tell myself, chill out. Don't work so hard. You, you will get everything you want, you know. Um, again, because here at 49, I'm like... You know, I know a lot of people party, you know, in their 20s or whatever, and they're still partying in 40s and 50s. I mean, I had my first show. I partied some, but I'm doing it because my, I don't know, my jaw hurt or something. Something hurt in my mouth. <laughs> it's my sinus is draining. Um, Yeah, so I would tell my, I would go back to the Sean in, the, in her 20s from 20 to 28, and I would tell her, girl, Enjoy life, you know, live it to the fullest. Stop worrying about bills. Stop worrying about this and that and just enjoy your 20s. Because once you hit 29 and that next year come and you completely at those 20s, there's no do-overs. 
<laughs> there are absolutely no do-overs. Yeah. I think a lot of times we grow up and we are worried about minuscule things. You know what I'm saying? You go to bed with these very, very small things on your mind. Something you could not work out during the day. And it just, it just, it just takes over your mind. You can't sleep because it's on your mind. You know, stuff. And all my life, I've been a worrier. You know, and, and I know some people are like, girl, what are you worrying about? But, you know, you just find yourself worrying about stuff. However, I didn't want to talk past 15 minutes. Uh, I'm at 1036. So, if you can go back and tell yourself, your younger self something. At what age would you go back and and what would you tell yourself? What would you tell yourself? Sean's journey out. I will see you guys later in my next video. I have two to bring you. Uh, sisters. Last night episode was fire. And uh, our kind of people. And my vlog was for today. So you guys are going to see my face. I have four, vi three more videos to make. Sean's journey out. See you later.